Hey, fishing again. Today, putting eight rod holders on my boat. And I'm just going to tell you up front, don't make the same mistake I did. And if you do, I'm going to show you how to fix it. So stick around and let's get to it. ahead and I placed these mounting brackets all the way around the boat where I want them. There's eight of them and I went ahead and fastened seven of them down. Now you can buy bolts or screws that's going to countersink into the flange here, the mounting bracket, but uh, I just went with the self-tapping screws. They're number 10, inch and a half long. Uh, some I had left over from another job I did. Uh, I think they were like five, six bucks at Home Depot. But that's what I went with. And I just went ahead and placed them all where I wanted them. And then I'm going to put them down with these screws right here. It just makes things so much easier for me because I don't have to pre-drill a hole. No big deal. Good and tight now. Here's the mistake I made. When I first bought these rod holders, they're four inch. And that means they got a four inch shaft on them. They stand up four inches tall. I, I come out in the garage and I measured the back side of my boat right here. And the four inches would work great. And, and that's and that's real good, but the mistake I made was I didn't measure the front of the boat. And uh, on this bass tracker, the front of the boat is much taller, so four inches was too short. So what I did is I went to Tractor Supply and I bought four inch bolts and I bought me a nut. Now I took the four inch bolt and I run that nut up this good end and I cut the head off. Then I run that nut on up to this bolt was about halfway in it. Then I run the holder down until they jammed up against one another. I held this with the channel lock and I wrenched it down. Then I just put me a tack weld on it to uh, hold it in place where it wouldn't go nowhere. Now if you ain't got no welder you can do this by putting Loctite on it or super glue and wrenching them down and bind it together and it ain't going nowhere but that's what I did I just put them together with a nut it does two things it keeps it straight it keeps this rod straight with that rod so it's good uh, I could have welded it right to it but then you got a little bit of more of a problem trying to hold it straight. This just makes it simpler. And it works just as good. And it ain't going nowhere. It's going to be there. And the two back corners are kind of close together, if you can see it in the video. And if you think they're going to interfere with each other, they won't because... One going to be back here out the back of the boat and the other one going to be over here out the side of the boat. Not good because I can put them in any direction I want them in and, and you know that. But that's just a little mistake I made on the measurements. But these rod holders, the same ones at Academy Sports here by my house, or ten dollars a piece. Now ten dollars a piece, eight of them's eighty dollars plus tax. I bought all four of these off of Amazon for thirty-five dollars. 
and I got free shipping on them. I bought eight of them for thirty-five dollars. You can't beat that. That's less than half the price of going to Academy Sports and buying them at ten dollars a piece. It's ridiculous. The bolts and the nuts I bought at Trash Supply. I bought them about a pound. I think I paid like three dollars for them. That wasn't nothing. So just keep in mind, it's cheap, shop around, look on Amazon, look on eBay. You can get these things for like $30, $35 for a set of eight, mountain bracket, the little nut. But think about the height on where you're going to put them because if you don't, you're going to end up having to do this and it's going to cost you three, three more dollars in uh, a little bit of time. But... I just wanted you to know that. Make it easy on yourself. Well, that's going to do it for today's video. Uh, if you like what you've seen, hit the like button. And if you haven't already, subscribe. Ring that bell. YouTube will notify you when I post the next video. And I'm going to tell you, you're going to want to see the next video because I'm mounting shallow water anchor system on my boat. And there's a couple things that nobody tells you that you're going to need to know before you do that. And uh, I'm going to tell you about it on the next video. So stick around for that one. Until then, get on the lake. Do some fishing. Have some fun. Next time.